Welcome to JP3 Measurement. This is an instructional video about how to clean the CTX Analyzer flow cells. The CTX Analyzer and flow cells have been designed to operate for long periods of time under harsh conditions with minimal maintenance. The purpose of this video is to guide you through the process which is quick and simple. We will demonstrate how to disassemble and reassemble the flow cells. There is no need to take any action at the analyzer control panel or to power down the system. However, please be sure to always follow site rules and regulations and remember to retighten all fittings and realign the flow cells completely. To clean the flow cell, you will need a JP3 flow cell cleaning kit. If you don't already have a JP3 cleaning kit, please contact us at 512-537-8450 or email service at jp3measurement.com. The JP3 flow cell cleaning kit will contain the following. Outer flange O-rings, inner flange O-rings, main block O-rings, collimator housing mount O-rings, outer flange screws, O-ring lubricant, lens cleaning spray, a nylon cleaning brush, collimator housing mount set screws, collimator housing mount dust caps, and several lint-free cloths. Let's take a closer look at the flow cell cleaning process by watching the following video. Not all items in the JP3 lens cleaning kit are necessary for routine cleaning. However, specific items will need to be replaced anytime the flow cell is disassembled. These include the outer flange O-rings and the main block O-rings. You will also need the O-ring lubricant, lens cleaning spray, cleaning brush, dust caps, and lint-free cloths for routine cleaning. The first step in the cleaning process is to isolate flow to the flow cell and to de-energize the heating block and allow it time to cool. Make sure to follow site-specific procedures including lockout-tagout if necessary. Next remove the insulating cover. It should be noted at this time that not all JP3 flow cells will be equipped with a heating block kit. If yours does not, proceed to the next steps. Ensure that appropriate cooling has taken place by using an infrared thermometer or placing your hand close to, but not directly on, the main block. The next step is to drain and vent process from the flow cell itself. This can be accomplished using the quarter inch sample port and the vent side of the three-way valve. Make sure to dispose of any residual process in a site-specific and safe manner. Using a 532 hex or Allen key, Loosen the collimator housing mount set screw. Be careful not to remove it. However, should you lose it, additionals are included in the cleaning kit. Next, remove the collimator mount housing, being cautious not to damage the fiber optic cables. Once removed, install the protective dust cap to prevent debris from entering the housing. Do this for both sides. If necessary, you can remove the rear insulating cover. Loosen and remove the flanges from the flow cell. Note that each flange is keyed to only fit on one side of the flow cell. Once the flanges are removed, make sure to remove both of the main block O-rings. Use a small amount of solvent and the nylon cleaning brush to clean both sides of the flow cell body. We recommend 70% or better isopropyl alcohol. Use a cloth or a shop rag to remove any residual material from the optical path. 
Also clean any material that may have gotten on the main body during the cleaning process. Prior to reinstalling the flange, replace both of the main block O-rings. These O-rings are a critical seal and should be replaced any time the flow cell is disassembled. Also before reinstalling the flanges, ensure that you clean the optical sapphire. Use a couple of sprays with the JP3 lens cleaning spray and the lint-free cloth to clean the face and area around the main optic. Next, reinstall the flange. When reinstalling the flange, tighten the screws in a 1-3-4-2 pattern. Torque each screw to approximately 30 inch-pounds or hand tight plus an eighth of a turn. Once the outer flanges are reinstalled, remove both O-rings. Do this for both sides of the flow cell. As with main block O-rings, outer flange O-ring replacements are available in the GP3 cleaning kit. Using a small amount of lubricant on your fingers, lubricate both O-rings prior to reinstalling them. Running it through your fingers, press together. Like the main block O-rings, the outer flange O-rings should be replaced any time the flow cell is disassembled. Once both O-rings are installed, clean the outer surface of the sapphire, again using the JP3 lens cleaning spray and a lint-free cloth. Remove the dust cap and reinstall the collimator housing mount. Once reinstalled, retighten the collimator housing mount set screw until snug. Do this for both sides. Once both sides of the flow cell have been reassembled, reinstall the insulating cover. Ensure that both are closed and capped before trying to return process to the flow cell. Once the insulating cover has been reinstalled, you may re-energize the heating block and restore flow to the flow cell. This completes the routine cleaning procedures for the JP3 flow cell. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the JP3 video on probe and cell cleaning. Our products have been designed to provide years of reliable performance with minimal maintenance required. Should you have any questions or comments about JP3, our products, or this video, please contact us at 512-537-8450 or you can visit our website at jp3measurement.com.